Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. By popular demand, I had a few people ask me to test the true SDX in CW mode, so to send Morse code. So I'm going to do that today and uh, we'll see if I can make some contacts. We'll see about using the uh, true SDX in CW. Is it good for that? Uh, I can tell you already that it's not as sensitive uh, compared to uh, the uh, Minion SDR to radio frequency, uh, you know, RF currents, basically, uh, common mode currents. So there is no problem. I didn't notice any problem with the key or anything like that uh, because of uh, stray RF currents. So that's a good news. Uh, the key works properly, at least with the uh, paddle that I'm using, the uh, big alley that you can see here. And uh, so far, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the, uh, this radio uh, in SSB as well as CW. So let's give it a shot. Unfortunately, there is a contest on 20 and 40 meters and I didn't bring a 40 meter and a 30 meter antenna. So uh, it's going to be hard to make contact. The uh, 20 meter band is full, packed full of contesters and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be difficult because nobody is going to be willing to answer to my calls. And I'm not going to uh, call those guys. I'm not going to like it. So the only uh, problem that I see with the radio so far is really the screen because as you can see here, it's hard to see. Uh, I can see the frequency here. I, can, I, I do see the screen because it's not in full sunlight, but it's still difficult to, uh, you know, I really have to pay attention and squint a little bit to, uh, to see it. And if the sun, uh, you know, if I get a little bit less shade here, I would not see anything. But I have to say the, uh, the key works perfectly fine, so no problem there. It works better, much better than the uh, my Minion SDR, <laughs> which costs four times the price of this radio. And uh, so far it beats it easily, so uh, what can I say? <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about it. The one thing that the uh, Minion SDR has over this radio is the uh, the quality of the audio. Uh, the speaker here is very small, so the sound is very thin. Uh, the Minion SDR is much better in that regard. The, uh, the Xigu G1M is much better in that regard also. Other than that, uh, you know, other than the... Uh, uh, for the Minion SDR, of course, it's a 9-band radio. Uh, so, but other than that, uh, really, uh, this one works better. Well, one contact, uh, very short, <laughs> almost didn't have time to press the button to read to record um, contester, so uh, hey, that's one contact. Well, I sure have no problem making contact uh, with this radio, so it works really, really well. I'm still uh, 400 hertz off frequency, uh, 
but uh, I still have to fix that. I haven't had the time, but you know, it doesn't bother me much. So no problem making contact uh, using CW mode with the true SDX. And I'm again, I'm just baffled by how good this radio is for the price and the size. The, uh, the tone, the side tone is a little bit harsh even uh, receiving, uh, it's a little bit harsh uh, to the ear. Uh, it's just not a K1. It's not an aircraft K1, that's for sure. But, you know, it's good enough that you can use it and make contact. It's perfectly fine. Uh, it's just not, it doesn't have that nice analog uh, uh, sound, of course. But, hey, we can't have it all, right? And, and that's already, uh, we get already quite a bit uh, with this. Again, I'm probably going to get a second one. I'm <laughs> I said so already, but... Uh, very good for CW as well as SSB, which is amazing. Of course, it's based on the uh, QCX uh, from QRP Labs. So, of course, it's going to be good for CW. It, it started as a CW radio and someone added SSB to it. So, CW for this radio is not an afterthought. Uh, like it would be for many others and that's regrettable that many QRP radios that have SSB started as SSB radios and CW is an afterthought not good filtering sometimes it's just a tone sent over SSB so it's not really CW it's uh, it's a tone sent over uh, USB or, or LSB and that's not the case uh, for this radio it's really made as a CW radio and that's probably why I like it too <laughs> Again, I'd like to thank all my uh, Patreon subscribers because without them I couldn't do all this and uh, it's really uh, it's really my lifeline. If you guys want to help, go to patreon.com. The link is down below. You have the coffee donations link down below as well. That helps a great deal, believe me. So of course, I'm going to use that radio again and probably often. <laughs> I'm going to set it up in a case with, the, uh, with an antenna, uh, probably a transformer or wire for the antenna with uh, paddles, I have my uh, palm paddles that I'm going to use for that, specifically for this radio. So I'm going to make like a, um, a go kit, a go box, so to speak, for specifically for this, because that's going to be, this radio is going to be my bug out radio for sure. I'll probably add a QCX to it, just, just to be safe. And uh, of course I'll have a handheld, but I mean for HF, this plus a, a Morse code only uh, QRP radio, and you're good to go. And that's all I have to say about that. Have a good one.